Hello, this is TCB Trio, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the fast raging long leg strategy for challenge mode all levels. Before I show you the strategy in action, we're just going to be going through some of the basic mechanics of this trick. In order to execute this trick correctly, you have to set up the trick to work. And that means doing exactly what I'm going to demonstrate in this walkthrough. Once the come down animation starts, I begin mashing start. As soon as I know that I've done it correctly, I start mashing L just to center the camera. What this allows me to do is pop out like you see there with Olimar to save a couple frames from the lockout for the uh, B button to whistle. As soon as that happens, I grab a red Pikmin and I long throw the Pikmin once Olimar crosses from this outcove into this hallway. What that's going to allow me to do is have this one red Pikmin work on the geyser the entire time that I'm fighting and collecting the key. After that, I follow directly this line upward while C-sticking my Pikmin forward. That is, until I hit where this rusted outcove meets the, the shadowy area right about here. Once I do that, I will spicy my Pikmin, turn around, walk to this line area, and continue walking up. All while I am C-sticking my Pikmin toward Raging Long Legs. That's going to allow me to get my whites far enough out to activate him in the appropriate time frame. Now, I'm going to show you about when you want to throw. My timing is all messed up because I've been walking through, so I won't get this trick successfully, but it'll give you an idea and a reference point of when to throw. So I'll back up a little to do it naturally. I'll see stick forward, spicy, turn to get my Pikmin out. Now this will not be successful, but right as he's making his come down, you want to begin throwing. Obviously, C-stick throwing. So now let's see if we can do this in real time here. Mash start as I come down, and then immediately mash L. Unfortunately, the L button didn't catch. That's not the end of the world. Center and hop out a little of Olimar. Throw my red Pikmin and C-stick upward. If one goes on fire, it's not the end of the world. Get some Pikmin out there, which this looks fine. And he will just begin walking around as your Pikmin casually destroy him. Now, at this moment, you need to whistle your Pikmin off of the raging long legs and throw exactly three white Pikmin. Run toward the hallway, dismiss, and only whistle your reds. Once that happens, you're going to run up to the three remaining geysers, dismiss your red Pikmin, call them and get to the next one before they are able to light your white Pikmin carrying the key on fire. Now, that time I was not successful. However, getting them on fire at the last fire geyser is not the end of the world. And I was probably not successful because I was focused on talking. However, after that, I then changed to Olimar over by the ship area. That is because it is faster just to commit to one way or another. If you'd like to commit to the fire geyser, always just be consistent. In fact, I would recommend the Far Geyser. Once that happens, I spicy my remaining Pikmin and attack the Geyser right away, even though it would be faster just to bring all of the Pikmin to one Geyser, it is undoubtedly safer to do both. Now, 
And that is our tutorial on Cavernous Abyss. If you would like to see the carry keyback, the carry the keyback strategy done correctly, it is on my challenge mode, all levels PB as the third level that I attempt. And it is also on Flying Hawks PB. However, I do not know off the top of my head which video. I hope you found this helpful. If there is anything at all that's not making sense here or just having general trouble, go right into that Discord that is linked to the speedrun page and at TCB Trio, and I will do my best to help. Thank you for watching.